Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer from Summer Moon Tarot. Today we are doing a pick a card reading and this one is like, I so this is like a part two of like who you're going to be dating in 2020 or who's like coming towards you. And this is like, like if you guys had, you know, intimate relations um, or, you know, like your next sexual experience that you'll have in the year of 2020 or even like from a year from now. So it doesn't really matter like the timing per se when it comes to this, but uh, <clears throat> I feel so this is going to be amazeball. So if you are new here, go ahead and hit that bell down below because we keep it juicy and you, you will see, you will get a preview of how we keep it juicy up in here. Also, I'd like to mention just a few quick things. One of them is this is a very, 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 very general reading. It's a general reading. If it does not resonate with you, don't worry. Let that fly away. Okay. Take what resonates. Leave what does not. Um, I can't stress that enough. Uh, do not fill my inbox with uh, of, of how much I suck, okay? Because that's not that's not cool. Um, so anyway, and then also next week is going to be my last week for readings. So if you are looking to get a reading with me, you like reach out to me as soon as possible because I. I probably overfilled a little bit this week, but um, I do have a few slots next week and then that is it. I'm closing the books until I believe like the second week-ish of January and I'll have a wait list for January, okay? So anyway, I am excited and we are using a new deck today. We're using the, the Camarón Tarot. Ooh, baby. <sighs> I should never have turned on the heat or wore a thick sweater. I know it's gonna be juicy. I gotta stay hydrated for this because this is gonna getting out of control. I took a I took a quick peek and guess what guys? There's peen up in here. I'm like, yes, we got penis. Lots and lots of peen. Hashtag save the peen save the peen and I'm happy when I saw it I was like uber elated and then my um child's like mommy why are you so happy I'm like Shh, just, just go away just go away anyway um let's go ahead guys and let's get started this is super exciting you guys so today we are working with three piles with the brand new deck that we got going on here as you know this is pile one pile two and pile three you can go ahead you can pause the video you can meditate use a pendulum if you're called to use more than one pile or pick more than one pile please by all means do so all right you guys let's get the sexy on all right pile one Let's go ahead and let's dive right into it. So I am using the three different sex tarot decks, the Casanova, the Tarot of Sexual Magic, and Sex Sexual Magic, and of course the Decameron Tarot. So let's go ahead and let's dive right into oh oh. We we are diving very up <clears throat> right into it. Um, we have Queen of Cups here. I'm just gonna like hold this up for a little bit and uh, I will be diving into it a little bit more, but um, <laughs> oh goodness. Oh man. Oh my goodness. All right, and then we got the world card here. Nice. All right, and then we got the um, Seven of Swords. I call this says Spades, but Seven of Swords. This is good. And then we got Five of Pentacles here. All right. It's like we, we we hit hard, like with bam, and then it's like oh, it's starting to like level out a little bit, okay? But maybe not so much. Then we got um, Nine of Pentacles here. So there's some light kink going on here, and I say that with good reason. There's a belt there in the back, and she is wearing a mask, and I am all for that in a bag of chips. All right, and then we got the judgment card. Hold that for a little bit, and then I'll get right into it. 
this is um I'm gonna pull some more okay this is this is a pretty big pretty big deck okay I pulled quite a quite a bit and then I'll jump right into it so we got ace of chalices all right and then we got the five of Pentacles, which I love some good romance action yes ten of chalices okay this is the person coming with to you with a love offer and then we got queen of swords there's some skyping or some sexting going on here anytime i see this it's like she's standing in front or like sorry not standing sitting in front of a monitor and she's like you know like peeling back the layers and i feel as though that there's some excellent sex thing going on here and then we got the queen of pentacles lovely and then for the casanova we got the um once this is the king of swords correct me if i'm wrong okay and then we got the knight of pentacles here Ooh, four cups so a lot of cups energy lots of emotion here and we got queen of cups all right queenie i see you there so and then lastly here we got the queen of wands all right let's get to work gotta stretch breathe stretch let it go let's go ahead let's get into it obviously this person loves to um do some kissing right i feel as though it's gonna start off with some really heavy kissing i feel like it's going to be like behind like a door like as soon as like you walk into a place and you guys just start going at it and that's what i'm getting from this right so i'm, I'm gonna give you like the narration of kind of like what i'm seeing here um and then it's like you know you guys are throwing your clothes um the clothes are gonna be everywhere and um you know you guys would probably be on top of each other and making out and like i feel like this is a very hot very heavy situation going on here but let me tell you something this person the pleasure of going down on you is going to be like it I mean, this is like a non-stop type of situation, but I feel like, so see like, they're like 69 in here, but I feel as though like maybe your first, your first time together might not end up in a 69 or maybe it will. Okay. So I feel as though like they're going to go down on you. You're going to go down on them. Right. This is like a tag team situation, but then also like here, like he's kind of like going down on her, like from behind that way. And I feel like that this is going to be a very sleek, like slick bodies, like rubbing up against each other. Um, yeah, I feel like this is going to be like a very like sticky type of sex. Um, you might even have a shower afterwards and you will go down on them in the shower. Um, but I feel as though it's going to end up first is going to do the ace of chalices, you know, it's probably going to be on top of you and then they're going to turn you around and take you from behind. This is what I'm getting here. Now, I am all about kink. I feel like this is going to be maybe encounter number two or three or maybe like even the first encounter. If you guys are talking about the kinkiness because she's laying there with a mask on and there is a belt there on the side so i'm getting that there is like a possible like kink going on um you know maybe like tying um or putting your hands like above your head and them going down on you that way um that's what i'm getting from this okay because i'm getting like there's a lot of uh clitoral is it clitoral or clitoral oh my god i'm so i'm so lost clit stimulation um and if you're a guy i would say you know a lot of um penis stimulation too like they like to like have your hands like above your head and will go down on you that way they like the form of restraint a little bit um 
Yeah, I feel like they might be even like into spanking too. But um, this person's super grabby. And also, do you see like she's holding that mirror in her hand? I feel like that they like to look at your at your lady parts, your vagina. Lady parts or male parts doesn't really matter um, what you have. But I feel as though that, that that's what they like and they admire it. Um, I do feel like that there's going to be a little bit of a, like a sexual buildup. Um, Maybe like some sexual tension even going on that you guys are like trying to suppress it as much as you can, but you know you can't once the door's closed. Like once they get you alone, that's it. It's game over. It's game over, okay? I do feel like this is definitely a boob and an ass person. This is a whole body person. Like they like you from your your vagina, of course, right? Um, to your feet, to your boobs, everything. Um, I also feel as though that you might be wearing heels or might be having sex in heels the very first time around. Her heels are definitely popping out to me. Okay. I do like the mask. And the mask in this one with the kink reminds me of the blindfolding. I feel as though that either of you love to be blindfolded. So hands above the head and love to be blindfolded. This is a type of sex though. Like, uh, this is, I call this, if I have to put a category, I wish I had, like, like graphics I can put, like, in highlight with glitter around it and be like, this is dehydration sex. This is, like, you make sure you guys are, you know, like, you drink some water, you know, some Gatorade, and, um, you know, make sure you, like, you stretch a little bit, okay? I feel so this is going to be a a back-to-back -back situation is because I got the judgment card here. I know there's like multiple people um, underneath the sheets, but I feel so this is going to be multiple times. Um, you're like, once is not enough. Once is not enough. Um, I don't need to go to my conference tomorrow. Um, I'll cancel all my appointments. I don't need to see anybody. Once it's not enough. This is what I'm getting here, okay? So this is what I would label the hydration um, uh, sex um, activita. And <laughs> um, this is going to be a lot of fun. And this is going to be something that you're going to be thinking about for a very, very long time. Um, I feel as though, like, like, when I saw this, I feel, I seriously heard, dear diary, I'm very sore. I didn't drink enough water and I might have passed out during, and I've actually heard of people passing out during sex though. So this is a very possible, but I feel like your partner, male or female, or even like maybe even you might be very aggressive. And there's like an equal amount of good aggression going on here. And it's just, it's so awesome. And I feel as though this is a very romantic type, type of situation too. Because, you know, it's like you guys are offering something to each other. And you're going to be able to build up on that. But I feel like we got a glimpse of the kink. But there could be more as time goes on. I'm all for the kinky life. All right, um, <laughs> there's something wrong with me, obviously. But I also think like this person, like part of their kink too is public sex too, okay? Um, but I think that once they get you alone, you, you're you done for. Like both of you like will be over the top. Um, it might be very loud too. I feel as though someone's gonna be banging on the walls. Be quiet. Um, don't be quiet. For me, keep going. Just keep going. They'll be fine. All right. That's all that I have for you guys, pile one. Thank you so much. Let me know if this has resonated with you down below. Let me also know that if you like the Decameron Tarot, if you're all for that life. Um, and of course, please, you know, love you guys so much. Like, big hugs, good vibes to everyone. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. In pile two, I am coming at you. Let's do this. Pile one, man.
Oh, goodness graciousness. Whew. Let's go down with it. Oh, oh. So we got the strength card. Look at that. Look how she's straddling him. Oh, oh. Look at that muscle in that leg, too. I feel as though this partner got some, like, really good, like, leg muscles. Oh, my God, I love that. But like Summer, you need help. I know, I know. Don't we all? All right, so then we got, what is this? The Knave. I am not entirely sure which one is this one. I think this is, like, Page of Wands. Oh my goodness, I almost dropped it. I believe this is the Page of Wands, okay? If you are very familiar with this card, please correct me if I'm wrong, okay? One says that was the Page of Wands, and then we got the Moon card. Oh, so there is a little bit of sneaking around going on. I like it. I don't know if I mentioned too, we're working with the three sex tarot decks. So there's gonna be a lot of cards, okay? Like plenty. And then we got the Knight of Cups. All right, and then we got the Ten of Wands. So a little bit of rough play going on here. I feel as though this is going to be very, very rough sex. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you are into that, okay. And then we got the, um, the Queen of Swords, I believe. Sorry, I'm not entirely sure. Is that the Queen of Swords or Queen of Wands? We shall see. All right, cool. And then we get the Empress. So a lot of strong female, or not female, like feminine energy here going on. So I felt feel like this is going to be, um, this is going to be awesome. So we got Nine of Swords here. I really like a good balance and this to me is like a perfect balance okay him and her or her and her or him and him whichever which have you which way you want so seven of wands okay and i'm just working with energy here so then we got the knave of pentacles all right and then we got the king of wands i love it so yes this is this is hot, heavy, hot, and heavy. So we got three of pinnacles here. There's a lot of ecstasy here going on. Like a lot of it. Okay, and then we got the um the knight of wands. Sorry, I like took me a minute. My brain, it's like a hamster wheel going on upstairs. And we got the tower. Okay, and then we got um, the moon card. So this is the second moon card. All right, and then we got five of pentacles here. Okay. All I can say is, this is going to be like some sneaky sex going on here. Um, definitely the moon card. The fact that we got the moon cards twice, um, they are popping out that this is going to be like something that you're going to be sneaking away. Um, maybe like for a handful. And I mean like, like yay much, very yay much. Um, might be like sneaking, sneaking. If you catch my drift, like, like taboo -y. Um, and there's like, there's no judgment here. Like, if you, listen, you live your life the way you want to live, okay? Um, but it feels though there's like a handful of you that this might be like a, even like, I, I even got like an office party type of situation going on here. The only reason why I say that, because you know, like Three Pinnacles, there's a lot of people there in the background, right? And I feel as though this is going to be you guys like sneaking away and, um, you know, getting it on because also too here with the, um, um, I believe this one's the name of wands, like they're in the basement and he's taking her from behind. So I'm getting that this is a very 
sneaky, like, ooh, let's just, like, there's people upstairs or people downstairs or what have you. Let's just sneak away and, and like, let's just get it on. And this is what I feel like. So, um, so it could be not, not just an office party, maybe like for some of you, but like a social event. This could even be like maybe next Thanksgiving. Maybe people are like eating turkey at the table and you're like, you know, I need help with my jack or something. I don't know. I'm making shit up as I go along. And then you guys go off and you do it, right? Um, yeah, you get exactly what I mean. So, um, this person that I'm getting, like, one of the first encounters could be, like, where there are people around. Um, but I also am getting, too, that maybe, like, starting off, I feel like there's probably going to be a little bit of seduction going on here. Like, you see how he's, like, pouring wine down her, down her mouth? Um... And like you both are like, you know, you know, you have that good buzz going on. I don't mean like just like by drinking, but just like that, that sexual chemistry buzz, if you get what I mean. So this is what I'm getting here. So I'm getting with this one and I feel like that they're going to address you um, and address you like fast and then like hike up like, like skirts or rip even, you guys will rip each other's clothes, like literally rip each other's clothes. Um, and it's like you guys, and you you guys might possibly get caught um, doing it, but I feel like that this is going to be a very like rough type of sex. Um, and I mean like, it doesn't even have to be like in a public place or, you know, say like a party or whatever, but it could be even your place or their place. And there's like maybe a party going on upstairs, like that kind of thing. You see what I mean? So, um, I mean, if they live like in an apartment or something, or you guys came from a social event. So, uh, I am getting that this person is a biter. Feel like they're a biter or you're a biter like the sex is so good and when you orgasm and you bite i feel so this is like a biter i do feel like there's going to be a lot of like hands like toward like exploring your body um and it's just they're just really grabby really touchy really like you might be a little bit like peed off that you know oh man my shirt's ripped but I had such a good time this is like like I <laughs> so the five pentacles showed up you see like he's kind of like sad there and he's a little bit miserable I feel like this might be like after the fact they so might be like oh man I get I have to go home now I yeah, kind of BS is this? This is what I feel like. I feel like there's going to be like a, like some sort of frustration afterwards. Um, but like in a good way, frustration. Not like, oh man, that really sucked. Um, I feel like this is going to be a really good frustration. So yeah, so you're going to start off, I believe, up top. And then they're going to, um, um, I think they're gonna like turn you over. Then I feel as though they're gonna like lick you. And oh, this is really interesting. There's a lot of mouth things going on. But I do feel like they're going to take you from behind um, eventually. I think this is how you guys are going to finish. You guys are going to finish this way. But this person like, they want to see you on top, like, all the time. To me, that's, like, their, I feel as though this is their fantasy, right? Like, they want to die into, into your, your pillow of boobs. Um, it doesn't matter the size, right? I mean, as long as they're there and they have their face in it, they're going to be absolutely happy. Um, that's what I got from this here. And the fact that we got the Empress card, they basically see you as a god or goddess. Let me get this into focus. Come on, camera work with me here anyway so you get the idea so I feel as though that they will see you as like someone who is just absolutely gorgeous 
and they just they want that body all the time but I feel like I feel like there's like a hunger going on like they they literally or maybe that's why like they like to bite like they literally want to um I don't want to say consume you because that sounds really weird but you get you get my my meaning now I'm gonna try and get this camera here to focus on me. Ba -bum. Um, fact that there's a cat at the bottom. I feel like they want to pet your kitty. And their hands will be in there and massaging it. They might even be doing it while there's people around. Um, and getting you hyped that way. Um, that's what I feel like here. I feel like that they're going to, they're going to hype it up. They're going to hype it up. Now, the fact that we got Five of Pentacles and also the Tower uh, moment too, I feel like that maybe like after the fact you might be very, very bummed. Um, but I feel as though this is, a, this is very rough. Um, this is a neck breaking type of sex, but it's going to be like, you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit that oh so fast. Like fast, and it's gonna surprise you. You're gonna hit it really fast. Like, look how satisfied she is on there, on that horse. Now I'm gonna try it. Let's see if I can get it to focus again. Ah, ba -ba. She's very happy, very satisfied. Like, she is, she's in it to win it, all right? She's on for the ride, and I feel as though this is going to happen to you. A lot of clothes coming off. Um, very sensual very rough at the same time. I feel as though like if, if you do have sex with them again, it's going to be rougher, it's going to be longer, right? Um, and it's going to be great. Now, I highlighted pile one's sexual like title, and I'm gonna do the same thing here, right? Um, make sure you have um, a heating pack afterwards because I feel as though they might they will break your back and um, they'll crack your back you know okay um, a heating pack maybe some uh, tiger bomb or something uh, you know to work those muscles because you're gonna be sore like you're going to be like and it's I don't mean like sore like bad like in a good way like good sore right you're gonna be like man Oh, I was up against that wall or I was up against the desk or something, you know? And it feels like that's going to happen. Your next sexual encounter, I feel like you're not going to even make it to the bedroom. I think you're just going to do it right then and there. This is like, I try, we're in the kitchen, try to get to the living room and we're in the hallway in between. I don't know how we ended up there. Um, I feel like this is going to be the case. Very, very rough, but like very playful at the same time. Um, it's going to be something that you're really going to enjoy. This is a really good balance too because they want you to take control and they want to take control. They want to take control like about 75% of the time. Um, it's just not necessarily a bad thing, right? If you're not into that, it's like it's something you guys can have a conversation on. But I feel as though that they have like a deep voice and it's like they... I don't want to say like moan. What's that? Like they make a sound and you feel it like in your chest. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. And you know, and it's like vice versa too. Like if she has like a very soft, like sensual, like voice, not even, it doesn't even have to be soft, but just like a sensual like voice, you know, you're going to feel that. And I feel as though like when they talk to you and they talk dirty, feels like they're a dirty talker, um, uh, the, the waterworks are going to be working. And then, um, yeah, so make sure, you know, you stretch, make sure that you have a heating pack ready by tomorrow, pop in an Advil, ibuprofen, acetaminophen, whichever, you know, whichever um, <laughs> pain relievers that you use. All right, you guys, file two, that is all that I have for you. Let me know if this has resonated with you down below. Also, let me know if you love or like, dislike um, the new deck, the Cameroon Tarot. Um, let me know if this has worked for you. Of course, my camera decides to not work at the end, but whatever. Anyway, 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Love you all. Good vibes and hugs. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye. My last but not least pile three. Let's go ahead. Let's get started. Let's get into it. We're working with the three sexual um, tarots, sexual magic, Casanova, and obviously the Decameron tarot. And um, let's go ahead and let's get started. Pile one, pile two. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness oh and here we go we got ace of pentacles i love it right off the bat here i feel like the theme of this is acrobatic sex Breathe, stress, shake, let it go. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two of chalices or two cups. Very acrobatic. Um, this is awesome. All right, and then we got the devil. I'm going to hold them up a little bit longer than usual because this is a brand new. If you're not familiar with my videos, this is a brand new deck that we're working with here and everything else I probably have used before. All right, so then we got three of chalices here. So a little bit of fondling going on there. I do like that he has his hands like, like from coming in from behind because this is like a sneaky way of doing it. I like it. All right, so then we got 10 of chalices. All right. And we want to say your deck only had five. I'm just going to pull one more. All right. Oh, oh. And then we got the... I'm not entirely sure. Queen of Wands. That took me a minute. Queen of Wands. I got it. I got it. All right. Um. Oh, yeah. This is a person very skilled with their hands, and this is very, very, very rare. Um, obviously, you'd probably be like, yeah, I might have had someone who's very skilled with their hands. No. This hand makes waterworks happen, okay? All right, so then we got the Hermit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to dive into it as we go along. Okay, and then we got the Hangman. This is what I like to see. Oh, this person is going to ruin, you probably heard me say this before, this person's going to ruin you sexually. Um, good luck with that. So we got four pentacles here. And then we got eight of swords. This person is the capital F of freaky. Four of chalices, the capital F of freaky, okay? All right, and then we got Six of Cups here. All right, and then we got Two of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh my God. I'm not going to even finish it. Oh, man. I should have took off my sweater. All right, so we got two of wands. And then we got the ace of cups. And then lastly, we have the ace of swords here. <sighs> it's a wrap. I don't know like what else what else want me to tell you? But I will get into it. Let's get, let's dive like right into it. Okie dokie. Finger play. This is how it's going to start off. It's going to start off like with their hands down, like your very sensitive area. And what I mean like that they are very good with their hands, they're, I feel like they have very long fingers. I feel like they have maybe even like big hands even. And uh, they 
even if like let's say they don't have big hands or like long fingers they know how to work the damn hand that's that's my point they know how to work the hand okay and you see like how he's like like she's like kind of, almost like bent out of shape um because i feel like he will he will definitely work the waterworks with this okay i feel like that you can be satisfied with just the fingers as weird as that sounds not a lot of people know how to work the hands or right? work the fingers in general um but this is what i'm getting here i feel so too they like for you to go down on them um it's something that's very pleasurable they love to go down on you they will live this sounds so strange i'm going to say it anyway but they want to live in between your legs and absolutely stay there like they want i feel like they take so much pleasure of giving you pleasure but also they love to receive pleasure themselves but i am getting that they just this is going to be like acrobatic because there's going to be like like lifting so I, I can honestly see like sideways upside down even like all sorts of like positions and are very acrobatic this person's stamina is like out of this world if you give them all day they will go all day and they will not stop they are just they're like power <laughs> what is it like power <laughs> I feel like summer can hang yourself. I feel as though this is going to be some like very powerful like I even got the word like they're going to in a good way like hit your like it's got like, like a cervix orgasm and that makes any sense to you. This is going to be like like out of control. Um, this is what I mean like they're going to ruin you yeah they they absolutely will um we got the devil card here and i feel like yes they like to take you from behind and um you like to be taken from behind too and i think that that's where a lot of like if you were to do piv like penis into vagina or you know whichever which have you or which way um any source of penetration i feel as though like taking from behind is going to be like extremely pleasurable for the both of you i even got like two like kitchen counter like you might be doing it like in the kitchen and i probably have said this before if you're doing it in the kitchen make sure you use some safety you know kitchen precautions please do not do it near the stove do not burn yourself do not burn your house down either because I don't want to come back to me and being like Summer told me to do it near a stove. No, I did not. Okay? Anyway, two, they, I feel so like when they see you and when you guys are vibing, they want to take you then and there, even with people in the room, and they don't really give a damn. They do not care. They're all about you. This is going to be like like ecstasy upon ecstasy upon ecstasy. This is like you, I mean, don't get me wrong. The other two piles, you know, sex is really good, right? And it was great. And you know, I'm like, okay, cool. She took off my sweater. Um, this here, there's some like concoction going on here. I didn't even get like to the other side of 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 the deck. And I'm just gonna get into it. I, I'm like lost for words here. So we got the permit, all right, and I feel like that there's going to like remember I said that you're gonna be ruined. I feel like if you guys were to ever separate um and you would have sex with someone else it, it will not be the same this person's like the definition of freak and what i mean by freak like i not just acrobats i mean like you will be doing um things that are illegal in certain states okay and then we got the hangman very obsessed with your body 
very loving of your body, very like, like they take care of it, especially the four of pinnacles here. Those are two, this is a definite maybe soulmate connection here. Possible soulmate connection, maybe even like twin flame. Because we got twos, we got a lot of twos going on here. That's a twos, all right? So, this person's freak level on a thousand. You might, let's say like, if you don't have, and I mean like maybe a small percentage of you who've not had any, you know, not that much experience or none, or um, you, you know, you're like, okay, I like a little bit of kink here and there. This person is going to take your level of sexual induendo, and they're going to put it way up here, like infinity and beyond. And I, there's just, there's so much, there's so much freaky, freakiness coming in. Um, and I'm like, I don't know if I should even say that because they're just, I feel so too, like they kiss really well. And they do something with the mouth. Like they, you guys would do something with the mouth. And if you guys, listen, when you comment on this video, you like this video, and then you're gonna be like, wait, Summer told me this, that, and the other, and she said something with the mouth, come back and comment. Because I don't wanna, like, I don't want to put people off, but I feel as though they're going to, you guys are going to be swapping a lot of spit, and actually, and that's, that's what I mean, like, figuratively and literally. Um, the freak level is just, it's out of control. Um, if you know this person, or if you have a hint or wind of this person, let me know, because um, that's rare. This is whoever chose this pile. Usually, like, I get like, you know, the pretty good ones, right? The pretty good, you know, sex, like the stamina, sure, cool, yes, bang, thank you. And then we get this. And this is like an outlier. This is like an anomaly. Um, the fact that they're good with their fingers. Um, and also, too, with this card, it just came through to me, they like to masturbate in front of you and you masturbate in front of them. Like, they want to watch you. This is a person with very intense eyes. And it's going to scare you a little bit, but then when time goes on, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. And your like, sexual experience is going to be absolutely like ruined in a way um, because you're not going to go back to the way it was before. And if like you're not like that experience and you have this, this sexual experience, yeah, um, yeah. Um, this is great. Absolutely great. That's why I mean like six of, of cups here. You know, I could see that like if you guys were to separate, this is going to be very, very, very hard for, for you. Um, I'm not really getting that for this. I feel as though this is going to be, I feel like this is a long sexual experience that it's going to be building. You guys going to build, you guys going to experiment. There's a lot of experimentation going on here. Lots and lots of it. Lots of acrobats. Now, with the other two piles, I gave like a headline of the summary of what I think this, this sexual pile or the sex pile is or whatever, what have you. This one I call the freaky acrobat. The freaky acrobat. And here are some takeaways with the freaky acrobat. Make sure you stretch before you start. Make sure you do not have any plans the next day or that weekend or maybe hell even the whole damn month. 
people are gonna wonder what the hell happened to you. You're gonna have this this afterglow that's probably not gonna go away, and people are gonna be like, man, she's been using um, new skin products. No, bitch, it's all the D. So you know, there's just there's so much going on here. Pile three, I. <laughs> I'm almost like a little envious in a way. <laughs> I'm like, man, like, what the hell? Um, but this is oh, this is just damn awesome. Let me let me know what what what's going on in your head. Like, let me know like what you think about this pile. Maybe for some of you, this is not for you, and that's a-okay. I just, I just want to know what your mindset is, because obviously you know what my mindset is. I'm, pro I'm going to like go to bed and, and actually think about this pile and be like, there's someone out there like this, and I, I've heard of people like this, and this is, I'm going to be very envious. Anyway, so yes, make sure you stretch. Um, also, pack up, uh, go to Costco, get some ibuprofen, acetaminophen, um, Advil, whichever, what have you, because um, you're going, actually, you're probably going to be very flexible, nice and limber after this. Um, yeah, so let me know if this has resonated with you down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, all right? And I will see you guys next time. Take care.